Well, hi there. Thanks for showing up for your learning uh, and good morning to you all. So let's continue our look at exponential expressions, simplifying them. These, we want to apply the same basic laws, except we're going to do it with fractions. Let's remember these facts about fractions. If I have a over b multiplied by c over d, then that is equal to top times top, a times c over b times d. That's multiplying fractions. And if I have a over b plus c over d, well, you know what I got to do to do that addition? I got to create a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by d over here and top and bottom by b over here. Now they're all over bd. So now this will be equal to AD plus BC over BD. Okay? If you didn't know that, then you're confused by that explanation. So I'll show you, and then you won't be confused by an example, hopefully. If I have 3 over 5 plus uh, 1 over 4. I'm going to create a common denominator by multiplying here top and bottom by 4. Tie here top and bottom by 5. So this will be equal to 12, because that's 4 times 3, plus 5 over 20. This is 17 twentieths. Okay. So you need to know how to add and subtract fractions. If I were subtracting here, then I would have been subtracting there, and this would have been equal to 7 twentieths. Okay. You need to know how to add and subtract fractions and multiply fractions in order to do these types of questions. So dust off your grade 9 textbooks if you still have them. And remember these skills. So let's go. This first one. Let's work it. 64 m to the 4 raised to the power 3 over 2. Well, that's equal to 64 to the 3 over 2 m to the... What's 4 times 3 over 2? Oh, it's 6. Okay. Like I was telling you in other videos, if you have rough work to do, do your rough work on the side. 4 multiplied by 3 over 2. Right now, what I'm showing you is multiplying these two exponents. Okay? Let's go. 4 times 3 over 2. Well, that's equal to, well, 4 over 1. So that's 12. Through 4 times 3 over 2. That's 6. Okay. Now, 62. 4 to the 3 over 2. Again, I would do this as rough work on the side. Maybe even do it in a different color pen, pen, Mr. Jennings, so that it's very distinct. This is all rough work. All right. 64, the square root of that to the 3, is the same thing as saying 64 to the 3 over 2. And I want to evaluate that. I do happen to know the square root of 64 is 8. So that's the square root of 64. I'm going to raise that to the 3. 8 to the 3, well, 8 to the 2 is 64. 64 times 8 is 512. He says figuring it out, kind of. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have this as being now equal to... 5, 12 times m to the 6. Done final answer. Can't be simplified further. Let's get a new pen to do the next example. All right. We are going to have x to the 3 over 2 y squared to the 3 over 2 divided by x to the minus 1 y to the minus 
three over two. All oh, to the minus one quarter. How exciting. Let's work this way. Okay, first we do x to the three over two to the three over two. Okay, I'm going to basically take this power and raise that power and raise that power through multiplication. So that will be x to the 9 over 4, because 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 is 9 over 4. I am not doing that in rough work on the side. If you don't know, check your calculator. And then y to the 2 to the 3 over 2 is y to the 3. Okay, and then we're going to divide by, multiply these exponents here. So this is going to be x to the 1 over 4, positive, because negative times a negative is a positive, and then y to the 3 over 8. All right, now we've done the numerator, we've done the denominator. Time to apply the quotient rule which is just to review here, which we wrote in purple yesterday, so we'll write them in purple again. x to the a over x to the b is equal to x to the a minus b. Up here, to get 9 over 4, we did like this rule. x to the a to the b is equal to x to the ab. Okay, multiply the exponents. But here, because we're dividing powers of the same base, we subtract the exponents. See yesterday's lesson, which is in the same post, to see that. Okay, so let's go. All right, so we want to subtract the exponents here. Nine quarters subtract one quarter is eight quarters. Eight quarters is a fancy way of saying two. So this is x to the two, okay? And then y to the three, I'll just write it out, y to the three minus three eighths. Okay, now that's the whole expression. I just need to evaluate three minus three eighths. And it's two and five eighths is three minus three eighths. But I already know that some of you are, don't believe me or you're reaching for a calculator, which is the wrong move. Okay, you don't need a calculator here. 3 minus 3 over 8. Oh, I need a common denominator, so multiply this by 8 over 8. This is equal to 24 minus 3 over 8. This is 21 over 8. And what was I saying? It was 2 and 5 eighths. Well, 2 would be 16 eighths, so that is 2 and 5 eighths. So, final answer x to the 2, y to the, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be right back, y to the 21 over 8. All right. I forgot. It said leave your answer in mixed radical form where necessary. Ooh, so it wants us to change the form. Okay, no problem. I can do that. Uh, so, Here's another rule that you can add to your little set of rules. X to the A over B is equal to the bth root of X raised to the power A. And that's by far how I prefer to write it. Most of my colleagues write it this way, but most of my colleagues aren't me, and they don't do these problems in their head. I like doing things in my head, so write it that way. It's just so much easier than writing it this way. But they are equivalent, no the same. Promise you, you'll like that one better. You'll be able to do these things in your head. So let's keep going. All right, so now we want to write that, but convert it to mixed radical form. So I consult my little cheat sheet that I made for myself down here. And so I say this is still equal to x squared. That's just x squared. We don't need mixed radicals or nothing. Uh, but then this is the eighth root of y to the 21. Done. Final answer. Okay, let's go back to blue for our last question. We'll work it underneath, and it's a doozy. So we'll zoom in. Okay, let's go. 
Okay, so I'm just going to evaluate from here. So I'm going to do the top. So this exponent is going to affect that one, that one, and that one. This is not the distributed property. I'm just raising that all to the one quarter. Okay, 81 to the one quarter, we can write that as the fourth root of 81. I'm going to write that as 3 in a second, but I'll write it as the fourth root of 81 for your benefit first. x to the negative 1 half. Well, oh, let me just do my rough work on the side here, because Mr. Jennings told me that was a good idea. So here I'm required to multiply negative 1 over 2 times 1 quarter. Okay. Oh, I find that to be negative 1 eighth. Okay. Because I'm using this property again. x to the a to the b is equal to x to the a b. Okay. So we got ourselves here this little x to the negative 1 eighth. Why? to the 1, because 4 times a quarter is 1. And no, I'm not doing that in rough work on the side. That's, no, no. All right, down here, we're multiplying powers of the same base, so we add the exponents. So let's do some rough work on the side. Let's move my face so I can do some more rough work. All right. Okay x to the 2 thirds times x to the negative 3 halves. So this is 2 over 3 minus 3 over 2. Let's scale that up and scale that up to get 4 minus 9 over 6. This is negative 5 sixths. So we have as our final power of x on the denominator, x to the negative 5 sixths. y to the 3 halves times y to the 1 half is add the exponents y squared. So I've simplified a lot of the radicals, rationals, rational exponents there. Now let's do the numerator and denominator with our quotient rule. Okay, the fourth root of 81 is 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. So this is 3. Uh, 8 to the negative 1 eighth. Well, let's do it this way. This is x to the negative 1 eighth minus minus 5 sixths. Oh, what a delightful problem. And then y to the 1. This is y to the 1. Don't forget. Minus 2. Okay. I'll just use my quotient. Well, that's the whole expression. Now we do some rough work on the side, because you can't see me do these in my head, but they're fun problems to do in your head. Um, negative 1 eighth minus minus 5 sixths is the same thing as saying plus 5 sixths. And then we scale this up, this time not by 8, but by 4. And this time not by uh, 6, but by 3. Those who know, know. Those who don't, please, YouTube. Use YouTube and say, how do I add fractions? with different denominators, and YouTube will teach you. Okay, so this is minus 3, that's this multiplication, plus 20, that's that multiplication, all over 24, or 24, common denominator 24. Okay, so this is 17 over 24. What a delight. All right, so almost final answer. This is 3x to the 17 24ths, y to the negative 1. We were asked for positive exponents only and to use the mixed radical form. Don't mind if I do. Okay. 3, the 24th root of x to the 17 divided by y. That's y to the negative 1. just goes downstairs. Final answer. So let's circle our final answers. Can you tell this is fun? This is fun for me. <laughs> okay, this kind of stuff, it's a little bit busy work. Like they just built these problems to make sure that you had to add and subtract fractions and use the rules correctly.
It's all to build your skills. But it's not bad. It's kind of fun to get it there. Now I get to go get the dopamine hit of checking my answers. Don't forget to check your answers. Okay, so here's one answer. That's the second one. And then the first one is up here uh, already circled for me. So let's go. I like the way this course is laid out in that I can just go in here and go boop. I can, it's above consolidation, it's right here. Solutions, you know. Oh, there's one of them. Oh, there's the other one. What? There's a mistake in that solution. That's supposed to be an X. <sighs> Y'all know I didn't make the course, right? Because <laughs> I don't make mistakes. Wait, what the heck have they done here? Hmm, let's see. Okay, so the 8th root of y to the 9 and the 9th root of y to the 21? Are you kidding me? I have the 8th root of y to the 21. The 8th root of y to the 21, please. This y to the 9 and the 9th root they will cancel. It's bad solutions. It's bad solutions here. It's true what they've written, but it's terrible. X squared times X squared? What? I have just X squared. They have an extra X squared. They're just wrong. Oh, so sad. I'm so sorry for you. Uh, sometimes you have to check the solutions. Uh, that one should be an X in there, and yeah. Well, that kind of did spoil the dopamine hit, didn't it? Because it should just look right, but it's not right. I'll try and change that now for you. Okay, anyway, and uh, any questions, hit me up by email. Otherwise, thanks for showing up for your learning. Bye.